down in the village of Malham today. The intention is to walk up to Janet's Foss, really spectacular waterfall. And from there we're going to have a walk up to Gordia Scar. We'll walk across country down to Malham Cove and then make it a circuit back to Malham. It was Mrs. Metalman's birthday yesterday, so she was uh, celebrating yesterday. Real easy walking, which uh, suits Mrs. Metalman today after the excess of last night. The forecast says 21 degrees and dry. Let's see the forecast right, fingers crossed it is. Cow alert. Mrs. Metalman's off like a shot. Yeah, never ever been down to Malam before never done this walk before so really looking forward to it if you've done the Pennine or you're gonna do the Pennine way take a detour one mile to Janet's Foss I think you're really gonna enjoy it we hope to today anyway everybody from America always mentions that the dry stone walls that we've got here they're not cemented in nothing like that and over a period of time you can see how they get knocked down and the guy will come round and he'll put them all back together again. So it is a definite uh, skill. So one thing I'd like to see, the top of Malham Cove, there's a rock formation up there that's uh, quite famous because it was a big part of one of the Harry Potter films. It's just a shame that our granddaughter wasn't here with us today, uh, Molly Potter, because uh, she would be able to instantly recognise which film it's from and then I could tell you. But if you're a fan of the films, you know exactly which film it came from. I don't know how the cows got in there. So I assume it was a cow. Yeah, that was a very large dog. Cows. So thankfully, he uh, a distance away from us. What a gorgeous sight that is we've come from. On a hot day, what a place to cool off. That looks absolutely stunning. So a really nice walking through here. The end of it will be the waterfall, Janet's Foss. And apparently the name came from the Queen of the Fairies who supposedly lived in the cave behind the waterfall or the Foss. Foss being the old Viking word for waterfall. The sun just started to poke through the clouds before then and all of a sudden it went from nice and cool to really warm. So this is a uh, cool things off. I mentioned the dry stone walls before. You get the moss in like that, it tends to bind it all together. Our first view of Janet's Foss in the distance. And we've got the whole place all to ourselves. So how nice is that? Now up there is a path that leads us to Bordet Scar, which I think is about another quarter of a mile up the trail. So that'll be our next stop along the way. Janet's Foss, supposedly gateway to the underworld. Unfortunately, I haven't got me a swimming gear here with it. Because I tell you something, it would be absolutely superb to go in there for a swim today. You can see the river there coming down. And that's the top there. So onwards now to Gordeska. Come up about 250 yards onto the road. And there's the path there leading to Malham Cove. One mile. What we're doing first, we're going down here to Gordeska. And I've got the signpost there. And a nice path. And was formed one and a half million years ago. The whole area was three times covered by ice. And what a stunning sight that is. Like something out of Jurassic Park. And the further and further you walk into Gordeskar, the more magnificent it looks. Now a lot of people come down here and rock climb up there. Oh, what a spectacular sight to see. So as well as a waterfall there, you can just see another waterfall coming up there. 
and it looks like it's coming right out of the stone itself. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, family there, go and have a go climbing it. Pity I didn't have Happy Metal Man here with us. I'm sure he would have loved to have a go at this with us. What an amazing place. With time gone by. Absolutely stunning. And we've still got Malam Court before we head. Another really nice walk. So this day just keeps on giving and giving. The path so far has been very easy to follow. And going up this way, it's been just a steady incline all the way up you can walk from Malham to Malham Cove and walk the opposite way around to the way we go on but apparently when you get to Malham Cove to get up on the top there's about 400 steps to climb up now I thought we would prefer to go down them steps rather than come up them but Mrs Metalman really enjoying herself so far which is always nice to see especially when it's been a birthday so the Yorkshire Dales Absolutely gorgeous place to come. We're having a stunning walk, really enjoying it. The weather's been really kind to us. Malham down there, where we initially started from. Looks like we've got across the road at the top. I can just see a sign there. Well done. <laughs> now you've got to get over. I'm not going to film that. You can head that way. Malham Tan, one and a quarter miles, which I think I've been by myself when I had a wander down there. What we're doing is heading on to Malham Cove. So the reason I decided to walk the way we did, you've got all them steps all the way down there. And to be quite honest, I didn't fancy walking all up and down. I know Mrs. Metal Man definitely wouldn't. So it's going to be a lot easier walking down them. Again, very clear path all the way into the cove. What we're going to do, we're going to have like a bit of a break here and then we're going to have a walk over on there and that's the place that uh, the Harry Potter film which Mrs Metalman is trying to Google for us. But like I say, if my granddaughter Molly Potter was here with us, she'd know exactly which film it was straight away. Well, Mrs Metalman just found out that film was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So there's some drop from <laughs> there. These are all the limestone blocks there. But uh, be very careful where you put your feet actually. spectacular formations here very unusual never seen anything like it but apparently this was uh, formed at the ice age where water down the little cracks in the rock and when the ice age formed all the water in the cracks all expanded and leaving what we're seeing here today which is absolutely amazing <laughs> spot where Harry Potter and is it Her Hermione uh, camped up on here. I'm not quite sure of the names given I've never seen the film before and this is why we needed Zemi uh, granddaughter Molly Potter here with us. She would have kept us right. It's uh, been a, again an absolutely fantastic walk highlight after highlight after highlight so I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> So 
can see why we took the, the route we did. All these people coming up here huffing and puffing all the way up. We took them nice and gentle all the way down. So you can see where we were sat right at the top there. And thank goodness we didn't have to walk up them steps. Coming down, no problem at all. I'll tell you something, going up there, I wouldn't have enjoyed it. If you ever do this walk, come on, make sure you do it early. See all the people here there, and that's about one o'clock there now. We got here about to half past nine. And the other thing is, do it the way we did it. I would say a four and a half, five mile circular route. So I can understand why it's been more than one of the best walks in the UK. We've really enjoyed it. So you see the way we came over from Goldair Scar, over the Malham Cove, and you were climbing up. But you didn't realize you were climbing it was a very very gentle ascent if you've watched this far thank you very much really appreciate it if you've enjoyed the video click on the like button and why not consider subscribing so i'll tell you something it won't be too long before i'm back out again cheers